Telangana was supposed to be the icing on the cake, but they're just left with the icing. The cake is gone. Uh, are we calling this? We calling all states except Chhattisgarh right now? Are we waiting for Rajasthan? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, Chhattisgarh. I think except Chhattisgarh, we can call all three because Rajasthan. Barka is about the BJP's margin because one thirteen is what we are getting from our source, uh, and that's roughly been the case with the BJP between a hundred and a hundred and fifteen. They've been in that range. But I will again, uh, sort of, uh, I will underscore this again. The Congress fought at the end, ended up fighting a better election in Rajasthan than in Madhya Pradesh, just going by the results. So I want to bring in Asif Bhamla, national spokesperson of the BJP, on that. Mr. Bhamla, on that <coughs> program last last week, you had predicted this, and look at that. That's a great uh, image of Shivraj uh, Chauhan, Jyotiraditya uh, uh, Sindhya, and other BJP leaders watching the counting coming in. According to Kartikeya, Mr. Sindhya has vindicated himself. The area that he dominates, the BJP has, in fact, done well. Kamal Nath uh, and Kartikeya, who's taking us through our numbers, makes the point that Ashok Gehlot has run a better campaign in terms of strike rate in Rajasthan than Kamal Nath has in Madhya Pradesh. One of our analysts said that Kamal Nath is the biggest sort of loser, as it were, of this campaign. Asif Bhamla, your thoughts, but there's also a north-south divide, a dramatic win for the Congress in Telangana. You see, uh, you're right. Uh, uh, as far as Mr. Gehlot is concerned, he, is, uh, uh, he has uh, uh, fared better off uh, compared to what Kamal. Kamal Nath lived in his arrogance uh, uh, always. We saw the language that he used for a five-year, uh, you know, completed uh, uh, chief minister like Akhilesh Yadav. I mean, of course, he was part of the India Alliance and so on and all the jazz that happened. So the way that he, uh, the language that he spread, Akhilesh, Akhilesh, kya hai? So un, unko, unko jeet aur kamyabi uh, sir already chad chuki thi pehle hi. And uh, uh, I think that's what we're seeing. We're seeing this one. Of course, uh, 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 Gelot Ji was grounded more. But again, unka bhi jadu, although he was a Madari and he was a uh, uh, walk in the place, but he didn't go to Rajasthan. Because, of course, Rajasthan is the first thing that one time we and the one time the Bharatiya Janata Party and the one Congress we have a chance to give us a chance. So, that's a बड़ा कहने हैं हमारे लिए सबसे बड़ी जीत और जो मैं जिस जिस पर हमारी पार्टी का आकलन जब हुआ था तब ये था कि जो आला नेता थे वो कहते थे कि छत्तीसगढ़ जिसको हम राइट ऑफ करते वो आप देखिएगा आप लोगों को शॉकिंग न्यूज़ देगी एंड दैट हैज क्रिएटेड pride and glory to us today in this. You see, about these two states, you know, last time in my debates, I was very clear, I was very upfront that we, there is no way that we will, uh, you know, uh, uh, go off and uh, uh, we, we will not, uh, uh, we will not budge because we were, we, we, we were confident about the machinery. Of course, I was myself in Rajasthan also for two days, just one day in Madhya Pradesh. So I could sense the feel in ground reality. And let uh, me, Shiraj let me interrupt, Chan, sir. I'm going to have to I'm going to I'm going to have to interrupt you because there's a lot to talk about. I have Matthew Anthony, leader of the Congress, with us, and uh, we do have to take a look at the numbers again. Uh, Karthik, very briefly, then Tavneen, and then Matthew, and then Sandeep. Karthik. Just for anybody just tuning in, not everybody is crazy like us to start their Sunday at 7.30. There will be lots of people just tuning in to see what's going on in the counting. So what's the big yeah. picture, Karthik? Yeah, Yeah. while you while you feast on your breakfast or brunch, whatever. <laughs> uh, here's what's happened. Chhattisgarh, uh, Congress seems to be trailing uh, 52 to the BJP, 36 to the Congress. And again, but I'll repeat, a lot of the Congress's losses coming from the tribal belts. And when Ooh. we do the microanalysis, I can tell you certain reasons why this has happened. And one of the reasons is that one of the strategies of the Congress of sort of pursuing this Hindutva policy has backfired amongst the Christians, uh, it seems, in some pockets, uh, who saw them as too Hindu, Hindutvaized, if I were to use that phrase. Uh, but again, that's for a later we'll, day, maybe. We'll get, uh, we'll Madhya, get to that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Madhya Pradesh is a sweep. And I think, Barkha, if there is one man of the match today, I would call uh, that would be Shivrat Singh Chauhan. Absolutely. Uh, and, Absolutely. And, and, to some, and to some extent, Raven Threadney, probably. Yeah. Uh, Raven Threadney. But yeah. Shivrat Singh Chauhan definitely <laughs> takes the cake. It's not just a victory, Barkha. If after 20 years of incumbency, 
you are able to sweep the state like he has, then that has to mean something. And that could have implications now for his standing within the BJP. Remember, Barka, it was not long ago when he was indulging in bulldozer politics to impress the top leadership that he could also be a yogi, you know. But he doesn't have to be one because he's Shivrat Singh Chauhan and he has pulled it off being Shivrat Singh Chauhan. Well, well, uh, what's interesting, well, what's interesting is that he credited, he's very careful to credit uh, Narendra Modi for the win, didn't take anything course. for the state, for the state unit. Quickly, yeah, I want to bring in I want to bring in Matthew Antony Tele and Kaveen and Tele Sandeep. Yeah. Tele yeah. I'll wrap it up quickly. Telangana is, as I said, the beacon of hope for Congress with 68. It's a sweep. Credit where it's due, Congress has really swept the state. I think this is a stellar performance. Congress will take a lot of heart. This is what this is basically Telangana is this time what Chhattisgarh was last time to the Congress. Unexpected, unprecedented, and a huge victory. Yeah. So I want to bring in Matthew and Rajasthan, Ma last quickly, Rajasthan, I think uh, Rajasthan, BJP winning, but not as handsomely as they would have thought. 113 seats through Congress 71. Again, I would end by saying Mr. Gelot actually fought a pretty good campaign. This is a respectable loss. They went down fighting respectably. So Telangana, Rajasthan should give Congress hope. Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh will be the biggest uh, sort of sources of loss or disappointment for them. Okay, uh, Matthew Anthony, good morning. Obviously, you expect it differently in Madhya Pradesh. Chhattisgarh, we're still waiting to call. Rajasthan doesn't look like it's going your way either. That three out of four, possibly, definitely two to the BJP. Uh, Telangana, big win. But are you disappointed? Barka and Karthik, first of all, I should compliment you for doing a very objective analysis rather than uh, doing a commentary-like thing uh, of a cricket match. Now, uh, uh, I will, as a as a politician, I will Some credit only, to the uh, panelists too. Credit to uh, the panelists okay. too. Yes, yes. <laughs> credit, credit to the panelists too. I agree. I, I compliment that. As if it's a neighbor in Bombay with me. So uh, now let me say that you know it is not a time to accept the loss till the time it is counted completely. So I would still maintain okay. the position that let's let's kind of you know wait till the end. Because a critical point is going to be the vote share percentage, you know, to analyze, you know, in these states on how we have performed, especially in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Chhattisgarh. Of course, you know, the, the number of seats coming across is not uh, giving us anything to kind of uh, uh, celebrate in these states. However, Telangana is a good victory, is a convincing victory. So that's what we, uh, we are at this point of time. Uh, we, are, we are waiting for the final results to come across. And then you know we'll make you know we'll make our own our own qualified statements on these states. Matthew, it's fair to say it's fair to say that you know the elections have to be fully counted before you see defeat. But I think just like we know you have won Telangana, we know you have lost Madhya Pradesh. I think that much we know, uh, and 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 so that must be a source of great dismay. Um, and if you lose Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, what might that mean for the Congress's strategy going forward? See, we will have to sit down, you know, just like how Karthik did his uh, micro analysis and, you know, he came out with reasons on certain areas why we have lost or why we are going behind. We will have to look at yes. it from a, from a very objective perspective on, you know, because we did a very energized campaign in all these five states. I'm sitting in Mizoram. I've been camping here for the last three months, giving up my uh profession and all other things like this so there were hundreds of people in all these states working very religiously for the victory of the congress party uh very well oiled campaign from the center and the state in all these states uh so we will have to look into the micro analysis of uh, a seat wise region wise basis on how right. we have performed and what has cost us got... the results you know for us I'm going to cut you short. I want to welcome Nikhil Dave. He's a BJP supporter. Uh, he's joining us, uh, especially to talk about Madhya Pradesh. Once we're back, I just want to welcome. Nikhil, can you hear me? Nikhil, are you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. Just one second. Karthik yes, has a brief update and then I'm coming to you. Karthik, go ahead. No, no, Barka, just to Mr. Anthony, just to tell him, the Congress either retained its vote share or actually increased its vote share. It's just that the BJP bettered your performance. So that's something that objectively I can, we just summarize your vote shares. The Congress actually held on to its vote share in the states it lost. Which yeah, is we look the at the vote shares. We look at, we, yeah, can, exactly. can we actually have those vote share comparison sites? They'll be really.
peaceful to look at nikhil dave yeah. uh, let's talk let's talk about madhya pradesh uh, aap bjp ke supporter hain you you know you come from a bjp family yeah can you how do you explain this madhya pradesh victory ye mama ji ki jeet hai ye modi ji ki jeet hai ye kiski jeet hai nikhil ji हम ये ये जीत जो है ये मोदी जी मामा जी दोनों की जीत है लेकिन उससे बढ़कर के ये कांग्रेस की एक हार है जिस तरह से कांग्रेस ने अपना कैंपेन लगा कांग्रेस के जिस तरह के सीनियर लीडर्स के जो बयान आते थे कि सरकार आने के बाद में देख लेंगे वो बहुत ही ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट थे अपनी चीजों को लेकर के दूसरा कांग्रेस का जो वर्कर है वो ग्राउंड रूट लेवल पर कहीं पर भी नहीं था ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर कांग्रेस का पिछले चुनाव से भी ज्यादा बिगड़ा हुआ इस चुनाव में दिखा और मुझे लगता है कि बीजेपी को कहीं ना कहीं एक ये थोड़ा सा संशय था कि हम सरकार किस तरह से बनाएंगे कितना मार्जिन रहेगा तो बीजेपी के वर्कर ने बहुत ही कड़ी मेहनत करके और अपनी सीटें निकाली हैं तो ये कहीं ना कहीं बीजेपी की जीत के साथ में कांग्रेस के लिए एक बड़ा सबक है कि इतना ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस और इतना अविश्वास अपने कार्यकर्ताओं और अपने जनता के लिए ये ठीक नहीं है निखिल जी मध्य प्रदेश को लेकर काफी चर्चा हुई कि शिवराज जी मामा जी को साइडलाइन किया जा रहा था उनको मुख्यमंत्री कैंडिडेट नहीं डिक्लेयर किया गया क्या उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा क्या लोगों के माइंड में वो ही थे फेस ऑफ कैंपेन ये थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन कर ये बिल्कुल ठीक बात है क्योंकि जिस तरह से हमने देखा कि महिलाओं का वोट शेयर बड़ा है और उसका एक बहुत बड़ा रीजन पोल्स के लिए या वोटिंग के लिए अवेयरनेस तो होता ही है साथ में जो लाली बहना वाला जो एक स्कीम शिवराज जी की थी जिसको कहा जा रहा है कि मध्य प्रदेश का वो गेम चेंज चेंजर हुआ है वो चेहरा कहीं ना कहीं उन महिलाओं के ध्यान में शिवराज सिंह चौहान थे और बहुत सारी सीटें हम ऐसी देख रहे हैं जहां पर स्थानीय विधायक को वापस टिकट मिला लेकिन उसका विरोध था लेकिन लोगों ने फिर भी जो है उसे अभी तक तो लीड मिल रही है होपफुली जो लीड है उससे वो जीतेंगे भी तो वो कहीं ना कहीं वो वोट जो है वो बीजेपी की सरकार और शिवराज सिंह चौहान जी का नेतृत्व और नरेंद्र मोदी जी का जो एक मोदी के मन में एमपी का जो एक नारा था तो कहीं ना कहीं ऐसा लग रहा था कि भाई डबल इंजन की सरकार यहाँ पर जरूरी है मैं आपसे एक सवाल और पूछना चाहती हूँ मुख्यमंत्री कौन बनेगा अब ये तो पार्टी तय करेगी तो मतलब ये, ये तय नहीं कि ये तय नहीं है कि मामा जी बनेंगे ये तय नहीं है नहीं देखिए अगर हम एक आम जनता की नजर से हम देखे तो अगर लाली बहना की वजह से अगर वोट मिलता है तो कहीं ना कहीं वो वोट जो है वो शिवराज जी के चेहरे को बल मिलता है उससे जी तो ये एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सिचुएशन है वेयर शिवराज सिंह चौहान इज क्रेडिटिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर तभी यू नो द बीजेपी ऑलमोस्ट इरेजर ऑफ अ जेनरेशन ऑफ सेकेंड जेनरेशन लीडर्स Uh, not needing to promote them. What happens to Vasundra in Rajasthan? Most BJP leaders believe if the BJP wins handsomely, they may not even need her. Uh, Nikhil is an avid BJP supporter. He thinks Shivraj, you know, central to the BJP win. He's not sure that he will be the chief minister. I mean, how do we understand uh, this 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 sort of BJP where state leaders matter, but only up to a point? Hang on, I can't hear you. Please, please, yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, I don't think that Shivraj Singh Chauhan and Vasudha Raja have been, you know, kicked aside as such. Do you know, I think that they wanted, you know, I mean, I, it's it's quite a good strategy when you say we're not going to declare a chief minister. So everybody has to work. So you know, otherwise it's charisma of one person. You know, I, you've already got one person, which is the prime minister, in that uh, poll position. so i think that you know that local issues local leaders you know i i don't understand what the strategy was but i really want to make the point somebody said that you know that congress ke worker dikhe hi nahi that mm-hmm. is absolutely true and it's been true for the past 10 years because you know there was a time i've said that before on your show where you couldn't go to a village without seeing somebody from the seva dal without seeing some congress leader at a local level at the panchayat level even you don't see those guys anymore you know you've got uh, the rss and it don't call it the rss bjp workers everywhere now you know you cannot build your party with the darbar in delhi you you've got to build the party upwards so i, I actually think that that uh, rahul gandhi had he wanted to 
after the um what was it that yatra called um you know the Bharat Joro. Joro. Bharat Joro Bharat Joro. Yatra, had they set up little cells everywhere you know to continue that work to continue the outreach but don't, because but don't you think they tried to localize the the, the states by going to Tamil Nadu to, to, to Gelot to Ravens Ready no these are all no Ravens Ready let's keep him out of this story but Kamal yeah. Nath is a Delhi leader you know i mean he's been there and again since sanjay gandhi's time you know and basically there is a real need in the in the coming general election in my view for a party that is slightly left of the bjp with a different agenda what you've seen so far from the congress is that copying the the bjp you know i mean uh, if the bjp's leaders go to temples they follow them there you know that they, they've lost their mojo to say yeah. that on the mojo story is a good yes, word yes perfect it is they've indeed. lost their mojo we welcome the branding yes yeah they've lost yeah. their mojo yeah the congress has lost its Bar mojo barka uh, yes kartik you have an update Bar can, no, barka, can, I, can i just add to barka on the issue of regional leaders actually i think if at all this underscores the importance of regional leaders for the bjp look at the victory in madhya pradesh which was eventually fought on the face of the sitting chief minister versus look at the victory in rajasthan where until the end miss rajay was not given the primacy that probably she should have as the primary candidate and then look at the bjp's performance i think the bjp's rajasthan performance uh, bajistan campaign was not a very good campaign because it was completely scattered the issues were just they were throwing all kinds of issues and you can see that in the in the results But I think the point. The I, think, I think the. I think the point that Bini is making is that the BJP organizational structure runs much deeper, no, no, and I'm therefore is not God. as dependent on individuals. Can I I'm answering your. Home? I'm answering Once your again, question. Mr. Not. I'm not uh, responding to Miss Singh. I'm answering your question about regional leadership. I think at the end of it, actually, this has just reaffirmed the idea that to win state elections, you need a strong state leadership. Uh, and the results are, for, at least to my mind, there is no ambiguity in the results. Tabeen, you want to? Yeah, we have to move on. Just one sentence from Tabeen, and then you. Yes. Importance of, of the state organization, and not just the leader. If your organization is really strong, then you can say, you know, we'll choose the chief minister later on. The 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 Congress Party's organization has collapsed a long time ago, and they haven't rebuilt it. That's what that's the point I was trying to make. Okay, Asad Bhavna, go ahead. Uh, this sort of marginalization, as it were, of state leaders, as some say. Sorry, I know Matthew. Just give me half a second after after us. Go ahead. Yeah. That, uh, I'm really sorry, but I can't hear you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, that Congress has lost its mojo. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, great, great, great. So, uh, like the previous spokesperson was mentioning, uh, uh, you see, in, in in the BJP, we uh, we we don't come under pressure with local leaders. Like you see, Vasundhara Ji uh, there, Shivraj Singh there, uh, Ji there. For for a long time, people thought that Shivraj Singh Ji ko ekdami, uh, you know, um, uh, boycott kiya gaya, uh, abstain kiya gaya. So, party ka apna infrastructure is so large. And uh, and strong that we don't rely uh, on uh, on on the leadership. You see, like we we have preferred to lose to lose even in states like Karnataka, we've lost. Maybe if we would have had a Yedu Rappa, we would have still won that. I mean, this is uh, he's a very tall leader, but BJP doesn't succumb to any pressure. You must have seen. बहुत सारे लोग कहते थे रानी को को आपने रानी जी को बाहर नहीं निकाला वसुंधरा जी के नहीं दिखने से आपको वहां लॉस आएगा नो बट द पार्टी केदर्स कमिटमेंट इफ यू सी टुडे मॉर्निंग आल्सो द पन्ना प्रमुख स्वर ऑन द फ्लोर ऑन द बूथ Pramukh was out at four o'clock in the morning in all the states that they were wherever there were elections they were all there on the uh, 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 with their responsibility. जब क्या आप देखोगे on the ground level in Madhya Pradesh if you see the Congress का जो worker है नीचे स्तर का वो बिल्कुल गायब था था वो सिर्फ हवे में रहे पूरा टाइम कि हम जीत जाएंगे हम जीत जाएंगे कमल जीत जाएगा उन्हें पता नहीं था कि कमल वहाँ खिलने ही वाला है but 
हमें हमारे कार्यकर्ता उस डर और दहशत से कहीं हम हार ना जाए हमने मध्य प्रदेश में ज्यादा मेहनत ज्यादा टाइम लेबर एनर्जी लगा के एक और जैसे कि हमने देखा कि मोदी और मामा जी ये जो कॉम्बिनेशन वहां हुआ वो वो एक ऐतिहासिक कॉम्बिनेशन है यू नो दिन ऑफ सो मेनी इयर्स you know of 20 years and after that again in madhya pradesh we can come back so this is again like a gujarat model that we have created and we have set aside all the uh, you know the uh, the, the normal uh, assumptions that uh, you know one one time this party should come one time that party and i'm sure now that we come in rajasthan you will see that this trend in rajasthan so, also goes so, for a very longer time Barka, I think Amla makes one very big point which we miss when we are judging things from sitting in uh, Delhi or wherever. If you recall, Mr. Modi began his MP campaign by having a con convention of all the karyakartas. You know, they start with that. They speak to the... And that is we a don't big work difference. With, we don't start yeah. with leaders. We start with the lowest level Whereas, worker. I think Congress is a top-down approach. Uh, they will fly in the helicopter, uh, you know, uh, parachute the, uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi in various places and speak to the crowd and they judge the success by the amount of crowd gathered, which always we know is, is a different kind of mobilization. But BJP spends a lot of time and Modi right from the top uh, holds these, you know, Karyakata, they, they have a particular term, um, uh, Mr. Bamla would be able to say, uh, trying to, you know, keep them motivated. And Madhya Pradesh is one place... BJP always had very strong um, um, uh, field force. Okay, can I just uh, actually at this point? We, all, we, we also, looking... we also, one, five seconds. Five seconds. Okay. Okay. The ahead. moral poverty on behalf of Congress when they, when they, when they call our honorable leader who's known worldwide as a Panvati. Aaj... Uh, you know, Panvati kaun hai aur, aur kaun shakti shali hai. You see, ये तमाम इस तरीके से जो प्रधानमंत्री जी को ये put down करते हैं, जब चाहिए उन्हें जो शब्द का इस्तेमाल करते हैं, चाहे वो देश में हो, विदेश में हो, आज ये लोगों ने जो है इनको लथाड़ा है. You can call a, a prime minister who's gone to increase the morale of the cricketers who've lost, if, you know, after winning ten matches for the country who are dead. उन्होंने उनका वहाँ जाना और आपने उसके पनवति रेट कर दिया. कांग्रेस वॉज ट्राइंग टू इन्वेंट अ टर्म Uh, which is an opposite of Panauti to basically say he has been lucky for Congress that after his coming, Congress is on a roll. So now I don't know what uh, they will do. Okay. <laughs> Tavleen wants you to briefly come in on Panauti and then Matthew can take all the True points. Tavleen say, oh, okay, one minute. Mr. Bhavna, one minute. Tavleen say, yes. Tavleen. Oh, so I just want to, I want, Tavleen yeah. has to go. So I'm just going yes. to make a last uh, yes. comment. Uh, yes. On Panauti, I don't think that that matters. But I don't think you should abuse the Prime Minister of India. He's not just a leader. I've said that before. And you know, he is. There's an office that he stands for. And when you when you call him a chore and a Panauti, you know that sort of thing, you're actually abusing the Prime Minister of India. They should remember that. But I also want to say something that I noticed during the campaign. There was an entitled quality. to the congress campaign you know it was the, their top leaders the, there was that thing of you know oh we ruled this country for so long we can still do it and i think that they've got to, to show a little bit more humility and a little bit more understanding of what their failures have been can i go now okay, okay tabhi thank, thank you as ever Okay, see you soon. Thank you. Matthew, sorry, you've been waiting for a long time to respond to a lot of points that have been made. I'm also seeing Pavan Verma join us. Pavan, good morning. Coming to you in just a moment. I'll just let Matthew Anthony of the Congress make some points. Go ahead, Matthew. Yeah. Varka, I think I have been one against many here. And uh -huh. uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is, on the Panoti, when uh, all, the, all the respected panelists are making so much of a concern about that one, Why don't you recollect the kind of statements which the prime minister, when he was the chief minister and as the prime minister, made against many of the Congress leaders, including respected Sonia Gandhi, as well as many others? 
I stop it at that on that one. Have some reflection on that. Okay, I don't want to get into a debate on that penalty remark right now because this is the election debate. So you know, I'll, I'll kind of you know, move on from it. Reflect yourself before you speak on that. One. What all remarks he has made on the people of the Congress leader. Now coming back to uh, coming back to the elections uh, response, you know, on Tavlin May, the people in the glass doors have not uh, recalled. You know, the, even she found it difficult to recall the name of the yatra, Bharat Joro Yatra, which has touched 4,000 kilometers and touched billions of people in the heart. It has touched the poorest of the poorest in the country. So it may not have touched the people in the glass. Uh, We're seeing the results. Glass. Let me complete. You know, I didn't interrupt any one of you when you when you spoke. So. Bharat Jodo Yatra is uh, is a message which conveyed that it's love against it's love against hate. Uh, so we have to we have to give the respect for the yatra. Bharat Jodo Yatra didn't have the electoral politics in that one. It was just giving a message of harmony, love against hate on that one. Then Asif, you know, commented about the Congress leaders' grassroots work and all other things like that. We have had many Congress leaders who have been in the Congress but never worked in the grassroots. But they speak about, you know, the grassroots workers, you know, when they move into other party. So Congress also had convened state conventions, you know, and I would like to say that, you know, in Madhya Pradesh, when Prime Minister Modi convened, you know, the state convention, he failed to acknowledge or he snubbed the presence of the chief minister. Then the Ladli uh, program, which is, you know, which is, you know, which was announced long back, implemented in the last few months of the election. And the beneficiaries are 1.32 crores of women. And if, if at all you have to give 1,250 rupees, it's a 1,600 crores of exchequer a month. So where are these going to come from? So you made promises and things like that. So in Madhya Pradesh, you know, you're saying that, you know, and Shivrat Singh's, and Shivrat Singh's message was almost like a farewell message. And uh, you put seven, okay. you, I, I didn't interrupt, yeah. I didn't interrupt. No, no, no. I'm, I'm. Okay, okay. I have to come in. I have to come in with an update now, and I have to get Pavan Verma. The Congress workers are protesting at the party headquarters against EVMs, which I don't know why this is happening because the Congress is one of the same EVMs resoundingly in Telangana. Nikhil ji, up eight point. Bolna chah rahe the Madhya Pradesh ke baare mein. Then I have to go to Pavan Verma. Please, Sanchep, me agar aap bolu. Nikhil ji, Nikhil ko unmute. Ma'am, do si do. दो 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 चीजें हैं एक तो जो अभी आप जैसे बोल रहे थे कि लाली बहना वाला तो कांग्रेस भी तो पूरे कैंपेन में कहीं ना कहीं उसके पीछे भागती रही बीजेपी ने अपना एक कैंपेन डिजाइन किया जो एक जीत का बड़ा कारण है और कांग्रेस उसके पीछे भागती रही दूसरा एक जो बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है मध्य प्रदेश को लेकर के कि पंद्रह महीने की कांग्रेस की सरकार का कांग्रेस कोई अचीवमेंट यहाँ नहीं बता पाई उल्टा ये हुआ कि दो के पहले का मध्य प्रदेश लोगों को बार बार बीजेपी ने याद दिलाया तो कांग्रेस के पास में अचीवमेंट बताने के लिए कुछ नहीं था सिर्फ वो बीजेपी के कैंपेन को काउंटर करने में लगी रही वो एक बड़ा कारण है जो कांग्रेस को खुद को सोचना चाहिए जी आ, ये आपने बहुत जरूरी दो तीन बातें कही आ, मैं आप पवन वर्मा को इस कॉन्वर्सेशन में लाना चाहती हूँ पवन द बिग पिक्चर इज लाइक दिस द बीजेपी हैज कैप्चर संदीप घोष इज कॉलिंग द हिंदी स्पीकिंग मार्केट नॉर्थ इंडिया The Congress has a dramatic win in Telangana, but will be devastated by the result in Madhya Pradesh. And if Chhattisgarh also goes into the BJP kitty, we haven't called Chhattisgarh yet, but we are calling Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan for the BJP, Telangana for the Congress. What is the message overall politically from your perch? What's in Yasin's barka, which I think uh, are uh, incontrovertible. First of all, the Congress. You see, there is no substitute for organizational vigor. You have to build an organization structured from the ground upwards in order to be able to fight electoral battles effectively. One Bharat Jodo Yatra with little follow-up on the ground does not create for you a counter to the remarkable electoral machine of the BJP. That's point number one. And the Congress has to understand that. Secondly, uh, in my view, uh, the star campaigner of the BJP 
was Prime Minister Narendra Modi. As you know, in Rajasthan, they did not declare a phase. In Madhya Pradesh, they did not declare a phase. But uh, I have, am aware of a survey which shows that Prime Minister Modi's popularity in Rajasthan is greater than Gujarat. Hmm. So, therefore, that has an influencing factor. Thirdly, I think there has been a policy, at least in Rajasthan, of one government following the other. And uh, Chief Minister Gehlot made a valiant effort to, mm. to retain his popularity. But frankly, there were too many internal divisions within the Congress in Rajasthan, which the leadership or high command, if you prefer to call it, at the center, dilly-dallied with it for too long, dealt with it in the most amateur fashion and allowed things to simmer to a point where, again, the organization of the party was either demoralized or disorganized. So that is point number two. Point number three, to my mind, is that there are three leaders in various parties who are in various moods of happiness and unhappiness. Hmm. I think uh, Sachin Pilot may not be too unhappy. He stands, explain explain he stands, that a little. Explain that a little bit for those who don't follow politics very closely. No, he stands vindicated that yeah. the Congress needed a revamp in Rajasthan, a new infusion of leadership, uh, a, a new face, uh, and 